welcome back to another vlog i hope that you are all well if you're new here hi hello welcome i'm adasia and i'm so happy to have you here happy tuesday i'm headed to the city in this very moment i've been going back and forth between making it a big deal or just like casually sharing with you guys because it's a very big deal for me but at the same time it doesn't really affect like the vlogs per se i figured for those who care i'd update you but anyway long story short i have resigned from my current job for those of you who don't know i was working at cnn for four years four plus years um, I started out in Atlanta and then I moved up here for a job opportunity within the company and it's been a great run but uh, let's just say I I wasn't fully aligned with where my team was going and so that kind of forced me to you know look elsewhere I feel like I was at a point in my career where it was time to make that move where it was time to you know switch up environment see something new take my talents elsewhere you know what I mean and so I did secure a new job and let's just say God has blessed me tenfold okay so much more than I can ever ask for in so many different ways and I've been in a really I would say the last three months so since November I've been in a really dark place and I wasn't really vocal about it on the vlogs because I didn't want it to become like the theme of the vlogs because it was so bad that it was either I stopped vlogging altogether or I just or I just pushed through it was one of those things so long story short we're in a better place now we're in a much better place now I do start the new position in two weeks but the reason I brought it up is because I'm actually headed to the city right now to clear out my desk and like take home all my stuff um, I decided to do it when no one was there because if you work in corporate okay and you've had one of those experiences where you're like I gotta go it's one of those things where it's like I'd rather no one be there <laughs> when I'm moving my stuff out because I just can't with the hostility I can't with the you know condescending shady vibe um, no shade to anyone to the company because again I did have a really good experience and overall and I learned a lot and I'm just so excited for this new chapter and also we're not working overnights anymore so I'm very very excited about that you guys know if you've been watching me since day one you guys know or if, even if you follow me on Instagram you guys know that like the overnight thing was killing your girl okay um, <laughs> even just my health it really severely was affecting my health and yeah it was cool and all um, and I feel like I made the best of it and I really romanticized working overnights and being like super productive but it came at a cost it came at a cost to my mental health my physical health um, and my overall just being in general it made me a different person um, it's really not natural to work overnights that's all I'm gonna say my life from Christmas to New Year's drastically changed drastically changed I resigned from my position I ended my relationship. There's so many things that changed all at once. And one thing that I will say that I've learned is that everything in God's timing, and that means everything at the perfect time. So if you feel like you're in a rut, if you feel like you're down bad, if you feel like you're never going to climb out of where you are, things are never going to get better, I promise you they are. You just have to hold on and you owe it to yourself to hold on. You owe it to yourself to make it to that point of seeing it through um, because you deserve that and you put so much work into it. And yeah, I don't know. It's so much easier to talk when you're out of that stage. So trust me, I get it. I could never have been saying what I'm saying right now two months ago. No, I would have said I don't want to hear that. I really felt like no one understood how bad things were for me. I also felt like no one really sympathized with me. And so if you're feeling like that, trust me, I've been there and I know what that feels like. And it can be really discouraging. And also you just feel doomed. Um, there's not many feelings that are worse than feeling doomed. Like absolutely like as if there is no right turn ahead. Sorry. 
So, you know, cheers to the start of a new vlog. Um, cheers to consistency. I've been, <laughs> um, we're, we're working on a schedule. We're getting better. I have a few returns to make, and I feel like um, Hudson Yards is right there. I can just go to H&M real quick and do some returns. But I also, like, very spontaneously made an appointment at Fendi to get these hoop earrings the gold Fendi hoop earrings I I personally love Fendi so much and honestly I've always wanted like a designer pair two minutes via Lincoln Tunnel Expressway um, and I personally always wanted a pair of designer earrings um, one that was practical I could wear every day I could wear casually it wasn't too gaudy and I feel like the Fendi ones are perfect um, so yeah I made an appointment I we'll see how that goes at this point I've been chatting so long I'm sorry guys but anyway yeah I will cue the montage I will keep you guys posted on what I'm doing and what I'm up to but I just wanted to give you guys that life update and just kind of you know touch base and let you guys know uh, where your girl was at so happy thursday i have been doing content all morning long i just got done filming a like skincare routine tutorial thingy for but a skin it's february 1st so it's black history month we're supporting black creators we're supporting black businesses we're supporting black 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 and black and more black just in case you didn't know um right now i am gonna do some editing and then i have to start getting ready because i have an event to go to tonight i'm very excited about it's an event with dove and dove is actually one of my favorite partnerships that i do just because it's a product that one, I've been using my entire life. Two, it's a product that actually works. Like literally every single thing that Dove makes is gold. And three, they support and encourage black creators, black skin, black hair, black women, black men, black, black, black. They're very supportive of our culture. Also, the most amazing thing is that they're paying for my transportation and everything, getting me a ride to and from, and I'm just so honored. That might be small for other people, but I think for me, I've never had a brand basically transport me to and from an event ever before. So I am just so grateful and I'm so excited for tonight. I have no idea what I'm wearing. I have to do my face. I'm going to go for like a light beat. It is an evening event, so it starts at 6 um so probably gonna go a little bit just a little bit more glam on the face hmm. but yeah a special shout out to doug for supporting your girl but while we're here i just want to show you guys my skin i have absolutely nothing on my skin right now absolutely nothing as you can see it's a little bit of texture some dark marks but that peel did wonders on my face also i've really cut back on using acids and i think that that's playing a major role in why my skin is just looking so much clearer than it usually does the moment for the skin she's the moment right now so i'm letting her i'm giving her her flowers while she's clear because y'all know how it goes <laughs> okay so my face is done I just put setting spray on, but I don't like the way it's drying. Okay, now I just need to figure out what I'm wearing. Also, wish I did my baby hairs. I kind of have an idea of what I want to wear. And I'm like, girl, just wear that because I feel like I shouldn't overthink it. I should just like wear what I want to wear and not be late. I want to get there right on time. It's not really a long event and I feel like it's better if you show up early.
So it's much later, I'm finally back home. It's actually a lot later. I got home like two hours ago, three hours ago. Um, and I'm still here just like doing last minute things. I probably should take my ass to bed, but here I am. But yeah, I just wanna get on here and talk a little bit about going to events solo because I feel like I've been to so many influencer events by myself and in which I'm not offered a plus one. Um, so it's kind of like, it's either I don't go or I go alone. Like there's no, there's no in between. Um, it's actually really, really awkward. And I don't actually think it gets any easier <laughs> the more you do it because you don't really know what you're walking into. You don't know what to expect when you go to these events. Like. Oftentimes you've never really met your PR contact in person or even on like a video call So you don't even know what your PR person even looks like and so you literally know no one like no one It's almost like walking into a club or like a lounge by yourself where Yeah, it's kind of like people are gonna notice you It's not like walking into a bar where like no one's gonna be like looking at the door if you walk in anyway so but i had so much fun it was so pretty i'll try to insert some clips here um yeah i don't know if i inserted clips before but yeah it was so cute so pretty so well done the team was so nice so sweet like literally one of them i'm forgetting her name i think her name was katie he actually offered to take a video of me um while I was on the 360 camera and I just thought that was so sweet like you didn't have to do that but um, I guess she noticed that I was alone and didn't have anyone take photos of me it looks like I don't have a shirt on but I promise you I do and then at the very last minute I ran into another content creator whom I know pretty well like we talk all the time on social media like she supports all my stuff I support all her stuff we're girls on the ground her name's Shani Shaw um her name's Shans XO on Instagram. Yeah, Shans XO on Instagram. She's so cute. The best New York City content ever. And she's engaged, so she's like in the process of planning her wedding. And she does a lot of um, styling videos. She does a lot of luxury content as well. Um, but all around, she's just she's just the cutest girl ever the funny part is is that when i'm at these events there's a lot of people that i actually do recognize but i just don't feel comfortable saying hi and it's not necessarily me it's more so like you get a vibe from certain people and you're just like i'll smile at you if you smile back you smile back but like it's just like not very inviting kind of get like a you can't sit with us vibe it can be a little bit clicky and obviously there's some people who are very stuck on like the numbers and how many followers you have and I don't know. It kind of shows when you're in person at these events that like, I don't really fit in. Um, not that I'm surprised, but Dove uh, really put together an amazing event and also the drinks were amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, everything was so pretty and it just smelled amazing obviously because there's like dove everywhere um, but also I will say that because it is February 1st and it's the beginning of Black History Month I really felt like there was a lot of representation at this event um, probably more so than any other event I've ever been to so that was really refreshing to see and yeah thank you so much dove for inviting me to your event I'm going to take this face and makeup off. Even though look, get into this face. Like, so good. And it's not even moving at all. Like, um, but yeah, I'll catch y'all in the morning. Good morning. I wanna come on here and show you guys this set from Fabletics because the color, the fit, the detailing, so, so cute. I'm obsessed. I will leave the links down below. Three miles down. 
So I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm doing 100 miles this month, so playing no games. 100 miles, 28 days. We're about to cut and shred. Cut and shred. been on camp oh yeah i did talk to you guys when i went to the gym i forgot um so it's a little bit later now got my green smoothie pineapple spinach orange juice chia seeds flax seeds collagen and protein powder oh uh, and i also have curry chicken and a salad right here and i cannot wait to eat it but i'm like let me drink this first so i can eat that and then I'll be good. There's a few things I need to do. I need to edit some videos, post them. Post a picture, hopefully I can get that done. And then I need to go through some emails. I really wanna take a photo for my new ID and I feel like today would be a good day to take the picture. Nothing really to see. I'm going to dinner with Britha later on tonight so I will take you guys along for that. And <clears throat> Yeah, <clears throat> that'll be fun. So yeah. Okay, my face is done, but I have no idea what I'm wearing. And she's gonna be here in like five minutes, so. but I am trying to take like a passport style photo for my new job I need it for my ID and so I did like a light very light makeup just because I want it to look really natural um, I'm thinking about doing it like literally right here I do my lips obviously yeah I just feel like this lighting is not soft it's just like really, really harsh. <sighs> okay, just finished. I will show you guys the finished product. Here. Not bad actually, right? Like, glad that's done. Good morning. It's definitely afternoon. I have a nail appointment at 4.30 today, so hopefully I can make that. I mean, I'm sure I'll make that. I just wanna get everything done before that. I'll probably do something tonight with Imani. She's celebrating her birthday. Her birthday's on Tuesday. Okay, just made it to the nail salon. This is the before. I'm looking crusty. And this is the after. Nice and clean. Bubble bath went really simple. So yeah, I will catch you guys a little bit later. Hey yo, I knew y'all had beef. Yo, 